Last night, Aja Wilson was in rare fucking form. Like, just just pure dominance. It's almost scary in a way. Like, in the first quarter, she scored 17 points. And she outscored the Phoenix Mercury. It was like 20-something or 30-something to 15. And Aja had 17 of the 30 points that the Aces had. She was just dominant on both sides. And then just scoring from every facet of the game. Like, that's a joke that I have that I say all the time when somebody's really just going crazy on offense. She literally scored in every facet of the game. She was knocking down her threes. She, her mid-range was pure as fuck. She was posting up. She was taking it to the rack. And they just had no answer for her. She was just doing whatever she wanted the entire game. She finished with 30 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 blocks, and a steal. And I think she shot like 50 or 60% from the field or something crazy like that. (sighs) She's going to win MVP again. I'm just going to chalk it up. I'm also going to chalk up that the Aces are going to 3 peat. They're probably going to 4 peat as well because that is something that happens frequently or relatively frequently in the WNBA. I think they're going to three-peat, and if they're able to keep the team together, this core together of Aja, Kelsey, Chelsea, and uh, Jackie Young together, they're definitely going to four-peat. And I just don't see this train stopping any time. The only, the only person that can stop this train is injuries and contracts. That's the only thing that can stop this train because they look unstoppable. Now, don't get me wrong. Diana Tarazi had a wonderful game. Like, she's the she's one of the GOATs, if not the GOAT. And she got, like, 23 or 25 points. And the Mercury were down, but they got back in it. They tied it up, and they made it a little bit of a game. But the Aces just kind of smothered them majority of the game. And then towards the end, just took it home. And it was led by Aja. I think Kelsey Plum got, like, 19 points or something like that. It It, it was just insurmountable almost now the mercury didn't have Brittany griner as well she she was out with like a foot injury or something like that so that could have you know been part of the reason that they dominated so much but it just it's scary it's scary this this is one of the greatest teams in WNBA history i've ever seen and they're definitely gonna three-peat and they're probably gonna four-peat Aja's going to probably win, like, one or two more MVPs. And and they're young as hell. Like, Aja ain't even 30 yet. I don't even think she's close to 30. Kelsey isn't close to 30. I think Chelsea, Chelsea Gray is a little older, maybe. But the core of the team is, like, pretty young. Like I said, injuries, which I hope that doesn't happen, or contracts. That's the only thing that can stop this team. Now, don't get me wrong. The Liberty are amazing. You know, they got Stewie and John Keller Jones or whatever. But Sabrina and Nescu as well. I just, I don't know. I think they lose like they lost last year. I think they lose because of lack of cohesion in comparison to the Aces who've been playing together for like four or five years now. And they just clicked recently. And it's it's working. It's working, man, and they working. But <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think the Aces are going to 3 P? Do you think they have potential to 4 P? Or do you think I'm fucking stupid and the Liberty are going to win? Do you think the Connecticut Sun are going to win this year? They they definitely have a chance. They looked really good against Caitlin Clark uh, last night or a couple nights ago. Uh, let me know what you think of Aja Wilson. Do you think she's going to win MVP? Do you think Stewie's going to win it? Do you think John Cale Jones is going to win it? Uh, do you think Alyssa Thomas can win it? She just got a triple-double against Caitlin Clark as well. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know some other stuff about the WNBA that you would like for me to talk about. And most of all, I love you guys. Peace out.